In this video, we're going to be designing a sci-fi battery pack. Let's go. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free Hard Surface Jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game-changing portfolio. Link is in the video description. Let's get started. Hey guys, Drew here from Blender Bros and let's go. So let's grab a cube here and let's make it larger and longer and a bit larger okay cool a bit thicker something like this cool now let's grab an end gone mirror this to the other side so from left to right and we're going to cut this here um go deeper and go somewhere here and then right and what we're gonna do press b to bevel this right so if this doesn't work for you press tab and b again it should be okay if it isn't what the hell is going on with there we go uh how many segments i think six should do let's go with eight and space and then alt x hold shift and mirror to the bottom okay so we're gonna have this kind of a shape and then here we could actually cut the corner, so let's cut the corner here. Actually, not so maybe less angled cut like that. There we go. And then are we going to cut an opening here? So let's go this way and maybe have a deeper. Because when you start really close to the edge here, you see, and you press B, this corner is going to get bowed. So start deeper here outside the shape and then go in here more time and there we go b to bevel smaller bevel this time six segments will do and click i'm gonna have to cut it as well okay awesome so that's that and we're going to shift mirror this to the other side okay now this is a little bit too deep so we're gonna grab that have a scroll uh, not this one um this one and gy and move it a little bit out here there we go cool awesome so i like that now let's apply this so operation smart apply select everything and shift n to recalculate the sharpened uh, these um, normals now if you don't see the red spots uh, what you need to do is press alt view with hard ups and face orientation then go here to edit preferences go to uh, themes 3d viewport go to this face orientation and reduce the alpha to zero so you're gonna get rid of this nasty blue color so again select everything out uh, shift n right and we're good to go now here i think i would like to have bevels okay so you know bevels and alt x alt x p g and uh, now here we could also have a little bit of a bevel and here I think as well okay so this is going to allow us to chamfer this click alt click and then with machine tools sorry with mesh machine and let's just grab a tiny chamfer you see this is not too big actually it's pretty cool and shift click on shop and now this is a nice shape so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something we never do in blender okay we're gonna save it and then I'm gonna run power safe. Okay, cool now. So from the top here, let's go with a cut here. So we're going to cut it. I'm thinking we're gonna cut it with a box and press B. Six segments is fine. Shift click um, to apply that. Let me just recover this and fix the bevels. What the hell happened to my bevels? Okay. Cool. And then we're going to grab the end gun. And make sure that under shift view have um, disabled view aligned ortho because we're going to be cutting here. Turn off cyclic and let's go. So let's cut here like this. Okay. And then we're going to cut here like this and i think we're gonna cut like that whoa there we go 
That's interesting, I think. Okay, so let's recover the cutter. Let's apply that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to clean this. So three to clean it with machine tools, alt click, shift control, alt click, shift click these two and these two. Okay. And then we're going to double it. I think eight segments here just to make it smooth. Okay. And we can copy to the other side. Cool. That is pretty cool. So let's have some fun. Here we're going to cut this through like this. Okay, let me see that. So here now, uh, let's just slice it here through. So uh, scroll maybe to 40 with shift and space, right? Now let's recover that and let's see. Let's scale this down a little bit. Okay, that's cool. And we're going to shift this bowl here to join. Okie dokie. So now let's apply the mirror here, right? Operations multiply. Cool. And now let's uh, fix this. So click out, click here, and let's go to offset cut. This is experimental version with machine mesh machine. So enable it on the preferences. Watch my videos on my mesh machine if you don't know how to use it. Uh, we can decrease the factor a little bit here. I think it's a bit too too thick. And make sure to turn off the optimization and turn on smoothing. And we're gonna run the chamfer here. So let's just mark the shop and run the chamfer here like that. PG. Click alt click here and we can boolean clean this up a little bit. Scroll your mouse and clean up the bottom ones to the top ones again okay, like that. Awesome. Uh, I'll click the other side and let's add weighted normals, which will flex everything. This looks good. And now, uh, is this still actually? Yeah, this is applied. Okay, so we're going to slice it manually. So let's grab that and let's slice it here. Right. Let's recover this cutter. So shift to and alt H one more time. Shift to alt H. There we go. Let's grab the, uh, where is the cylinder? Oh, well, my cylinder is gone. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, that's no problem. Uh, let's apply this. So sharpen, grab this one, shift S, two face, and then we're gonna add a cylinder, okay? So add a cylinder, right? And we're gonna add 40 segments and scale it down. Perfect, and sharpen, and then, we're gonna cut it through like this difference okay awesome and what we need to do now we need to move this whole thing so let's apply everything go to occlude select all these verts with b like this and move it on x-axis here again all of them so occlude boom select all of them here gx move it in here and then s shift z so you're gonna scale it but only on X and Y, okay? And move it a little bit here, and we're gonna have a bigger cut here, okay? Awesome, and mirror to the other side right now. Once we have this cut done here, you can turn off this pass through, click, alt, click, and let's chamfer it. Now I need to turn off the loop slide because this happens, right? So just, you know, open the menu here and turn off loop slide, it's gonna be okay. Generally speaking, when you're doing these kind of connections, you want to have edges falling perpendicularly to your uh, booleans, okay? Because shit like this happens here, the edges get pulled, you know, like a tie hooker on a Friday night, you know what I mean? So, you know, avoid this shit because it's not good for your health. So here we're going to run uh, chamfers. Actually, hang on, here we're going to run a boolean, I mean bevel. And here we're gonna run a chamfer. Yeah. That is juicy, man. Cool. Okay, let's save it, yeah? So, you know, power save. Now, let's grab an end gone and actually, uh, box is fine. And let's cut it in here like this and bevel this, okay? And slice. So this is gonna be going through the bevel, which is not a problem because we can fix it. So sharpen this and click, alt, click. And we're gonna go with again um, the offset cut 
now we need to adjust it guys because it's a bit of a mess there we go increase the factor because it's a little bit too too thin and then we're gonna chamfer it so mark it you know and then chamfer it okay how we looking oh that's juicy that is freaking nice here we're gonna create another cut right like this and cut it deep down okay awesome and uh, let's just mirror it to the other side so it's e even cool and let's apply this and then we're gonna grab that and we're going to shift control uh shift curve extract up okay like this what we're gonna do here we're gonna slice actually hang on yeah let's slice this so let's grab that and press uh, v for array x scroll down and we're gonna create maybe six packs here so gy click x and space there we go that's better we can remove the ones in the middle so these awesome there we go sharpen that okay now let's uh, clean this so three with the machine tools and then let's just select these so select that and let's just you know bevel them right and shift control click on sharpen awesome then you know I'm, i might actually array this because i'm gonna have to repeat everything a few times so let's just uh press l here and delete that and we're gonna just array that it's gonna be easier so um there we go right and then we can just work on one so here what i want is a chamfer first thing right then what i want is a kind of inset going in um one more time i to insert e to extrude scale it in a bit and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some kind of rods or some shit so we could do it circ uh, could do it circular but i think we're just gonna go with a with a cut like that and then v and go here click and then e and cut in this x and space okay and we see that now we're gonna apply this okay then select everything in edit mode press p and buy loose parts and then shift s and to geometry okay and then switch here to individual origins and you're gonna be able to scale them uh individually okay so scale them here but we're gonna do it in edit mode so the array is gonna follow right just like that there we go and then sx boom jusando and i actually really like this to be offset this way cavity is gone murder because it looks pretty dope so here let's just change the thing we're working on you see now these are just gonna cause problems again with our um chamfer but we can just turn up the loop slide here so i want to have a chamfer here as well okay so run that Run the chamfer here and see now the loop side is off. But if I turn it on, it's going to be a disaster. Here is a problem. We didn't select that. When you're running these chamfers, you need to make sure that everything is peachy because later on it's going to bite you in the ass. You know what I mean? So I'll take it to the other side. Good. Now, this is really cool. Now, here we could create some clips. Okay, so watch. Uh, we're going to grab another cutter and also before we're going to save that run a cut here like this and bevel it right and then we're going to cut this so e and cut it down like that and we're going to press t for solidification okay like this right awesome there we go that is pretty cool and now what we're gonna do let's just grab this to local go to side view here right and let's apply this and go to face view and occlude what i want to do now is i want to grab this one and kind of move it in here and bevel it so it's gonna be sort of angling down so it kind of looks like a clip or some such you know like you clip it in um, to this uh, structure this one could be beveled just you know don't overdo it cool and this looks really good now these cuts here in the middle i think this is already applied so what we could do is run a cut on the top uh, through the top part you know 
So we could only cut here like this and press K and just slice it. And this is going to help us with, uh, with this junk here. So we can remove all these because these connections are really bad here. You see, they're causing um, all kind of bad sheeting. Just give you a better reputation, you know what I mean? You don't need that. So there you go. Now here we need some kind of a port. To be sure we're in the middle where we can to grab this edge here, which I think is in the middle. Yeah, this one. Shift S into edge. Okay, and then you can just grab a um, cylinder here. You know what I mean? And change it to 60 because it's a bit bigger. And then we're going to rotate it like this, right? And we're going to sharpen it and scale it, and then it's going to be in the middle. So let's actually... Hmm... Also, we need to clean the shading here. Click, out, click. Y, Boolean clean up. Not this one, the this small ones. There we go. Um, so here, I think this is nice. Uh, let's just move it a little bit in here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, Booleans in Union. And then we're going to apply this, sharpen, and click, out, click. And we're going to run Offset Cut. And we're going to make this one bigger, okay? Right, but the factor needs to be way smaller, so something like this will do. And let's bevel it, okay? Boom, right? And we need to clean it, so click, Alt, click, and Boolean cleanup. Scroll your mouse, there we go. Click, Alt, click, and Boolean cleanup, and scroll your mouse, there we go. Clean, awesome. Here we need a chamfer, so nice chamfer, and we're going to kind of create some sort of a port here. We can even do this with, uh, you know, with insets, okay, so, I mean inserts. Just cut it in here, so D, and cut it in here like this, right, and slice it, and then, since cursor is in here, Q, and mesh tools and radial array and change it to three and we're going to rotate it hold the control so it will snap that looks pretty freaking awesome let's bevel these on the outside so i will scroll and let's just grab that um, these two and just bevel them right it's going to look a bit nicer nice 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 here before we apply this Let's apply a small chamfer, wicked, and we're gonna drop a insert. Okay, I'm gonna be using free inserts from Master Zion for Kitops. Um, link in the video description, by the way, to his store in Gumroad. Um, and we're gonna be using one of these. So uh, this will do, and add insert, right? So just edit here. Now Shift S and to cursor, okay. What we need to do here, guys, we need to scale this and also we need to turn off this ghastly name. I don't know why they're there, don't ask me. Go here and turn this shit off. And also what we need to do is we need to turn off all these mods, yeah, just, you know, I don't know why there are so many here, but there you go. GY, move it in here and scale it, and we could actually compress this on the y-axis. Um, and kind of put it inside here. Um, you know, that looks pretty dope, right? I think here we could slice this from the top. So just grab the slice and press um, K for knife. Oh, actually, you could slice it like this. And then press K for knife and space. Go to edit mode, Q and Alt and macro and bring it in. Okay. And then sharpen. And the bevel should follow. Cool. That is looking really dope. On the other side, we don't have to do anything. Um, we can just leave it like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we don't really need this array anymore because I think this is applied already. So we can just basically, you know, so we can remove this, right? You don't need that. Awesome. Now here in the, in the back, we could have different, you know, sort of like a clipping system or some docking system or some whatever. So just press X here and slice through. Press B for bevel and, uh, you know, cut it like that. Mirror to the other side. And we kind of done, I think, right? Apply that and let's just mirror this. I mean, um, chamfer this so 
shelf right here, small one. I'll take to the other side. That is looking nice. This could be chamfered. It's gonna look better. Okay, small one. All right. So the chamfer width are different. And here in the in the middle, we could have some rods or some shit. So uh, let's grab a mesh cube. Let's scale it. Uh, let's go to local and flatten it. Lattice. Apply scale. You know, apply a bevel here. Okay, and then. Go to the top view and move it in here and just make it bigger and basically drop it in here. All right, one here and one on the other side. So you're gonna get this kind of like a, I don't know what it is, some sort of a place when they've been docked. Yeah. And we could, uh, this is still an array, right? Perfect. So we could, what we could do is join them. So control J and then we could shift D them, shift, shift D them and then apply the mirror and go to edit mode and scale them a little bit. Okay. So scale them a bit and then cut this one. So difference you see, so you're going to have this cut out here. So they kind of fitting they can't move. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. All right. Awesome. So there you go. And the rest can be done with decals, all right? So let's just the floor and let's have some fun. Now I'm gonna show you our mats. Uh, we created some more mats um, for the new add-on. The artist we cooperate with uh, created some more stuff in Substance Designer. <laughs> Looking really awesome. So we're gonna be using them in here and then we're gonna create some cool badass render. I think this angle's gonna be good. Kind of something like this maybe. So I want to show this back here. You could render it like this and then have some battery packs here laying on the floor or whatever. Figure it out later. So smart cam to view, zoom in, and we're gonna go with 135. So it's gonna be a bit orthographic and then lock to view, zoom out, and you know put it somewhere here. We're going to change the angle of this uh, to maybe something like that. You could you know sort of um, crop it like this, it's not a big problem. Um, or we could uh, do something like that and then maybe lay some puck in here or even just at the logo so place it literally in the middle we could kind of crop it a little bit you know like this that's actually okay to fill the frame a bit you know I think it's gonna look pretty awesome so something like this right cool so push down unlock from view and let's go to uh, our cycles now these mats i'm talking about are not available yet they're still in uh, beta but uh, actually this alpha but you can get three of them samples on our website it's called subscribers cove so if you subscribe to our website you can get them for free the link is in the description so go ahead and sub if you don't have them uh, you can snatch these mats for free and play with them so here we're going to switch to asset library and I'm gonna to go to user library and our uh, mats. So now we can start with this. I think we're gonna go with the white one. This one is really awesome. We need to UV unwrap this, by the way. So we're gonna smart UV project this. Right? Good. Same with this one. We need to do the same thing here. So smart UV project, and we're good to go. These could be actually these could be separate here. So L and p selection right and then one more time smart uv project and then here smart uv project cool so we're going to make this one aluminum maybe and this one could be some cool metal let me see uh floor of course this one we could actually have a different floor here we could have the mud floor you know so we could have the um hmm the obsidian silicone and the floor needs to be unwrapped as well so you you will project right now the add-on you will not have to unwrap anything but uh we don't have the add-on done yet so this texture here could be a little bit uh, a little bit um larger but we can fix it later. Cool, now these clips could be a different color. The same with this one's inside here. 
These are things separate pieces. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see that. So let's just grab these and control J them. And I'm going to drop this one on them. Actually, this one could be the plastic. This is a really cool plastic. That is awesome. And these could be made of some steel. Or this could be also the same as these. Aluminium. Actually, that is a bit... Uh, that's not too bad. This one is a bit dark, but we can brighten it up. It's not a big deal. This part here in the middle could be also a bit shiny. I like that. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so let's go to the camera view and see how we're looking. We're looking pretty peachy. Now, what we need is we need some decals because without decals, it's going to be dull as fuck, right? So uh, let's collapse the mats and uh, let's just see here. So, oh, yes, I forgot to um, add some mud here as well. So this could be the same, actually. Boom, right? Yeah, there we go. Or, you know, the, uh, the metal one, something like that, perfect, they are still arrayed, so let's just uh, operation and let's multiply this, and we're gonna, you know, add some stuff here, so let's just go to our decal library and let's have some fun, these decals are from our pack, uh, it's called Ultimate trim sheet and decal pack you can get on our website. Link in the video description. It's brilliant and it's huge. I'm thinking this could work. Okay, and then we're going to array this X. Cool. And D match. And let's just shift this outer mat. There we go. To match. Perfect. This is a little bit too bright. I think it's too bright. Oh, that's a nice one. Could have some lights. Um, so, you know, some indication lights. Make them small so they're not pokey like that and project and then Q and array X and and peachy right how we looking awesome let's save it because reasons here we could have some um, some more decals so for example we could have Oh, clip like that, for example. Let's just uh, adjust it. And project it. And then match it. The outside decal. There we go. Could make it actually darker. I think it's going to be cool. Yeah. And then we can array this. So. Uh, Q, Array, X, and five of them. Hold Shift to slow it down. Always align it to the last one, yeah? It's easier to do this. There you go. Let me see that. Oh, that looks dope. Where's the camera on, the, on this side? Cool. So here we will need some kind of... Uh, um, some legendary decals. So let's just, you know, add some here. And project it. And then mirror to both sides. Okay. Or we could have some, you know, some sort of a vent here, a small one. How this gonna look? This could be actually down the down the road. Okay, somewhere here. I think it's gonna be better. And on the other side, what we're gonna do? We're gonna put a name. Do you know what I mean? Here we're gonna put a name, so some kind of a badge or whatnot. Um, I 
Oh, to the robotics could be good. Yeah, why not? Oh, this makes no sense. Let me see here. Yeah, there we go. Kef, now here we could use a trim sheet. Yeah, I'm gonna slice this. So let's grab that and slice this and press K. And here we could run a trim sheet. So what we need to do is we need to change the mat here for a sec because it will not run through that. So Alt M and actually we can run our charcoal mat here. Um, shit. Let's come and go to asset library and user library and BSDF mats or oh, this powder aluminium that's gonna look nicely. So here we're gonna add it and we're gonna go with the pop out that silver. There we go. And just assign PG. We can remove this. And we're gonna run a trim sheet here. So um, WD and let's just run let's just run this one alt click oh that's juicy oh yeah nice 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 cool so there you go guys we need to re-unwrap this unfortunately so you smart tv project there you go to fix this problem and uh yeah now see this <laughs> Trim sheet's gonna unwrap it as well. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to um, we're going to alt and macro this, okay? In, right? Then we're going to Q and shift curve extract this out like this. We're going to show up in this and we're gonna run a trim sheet on this one, okay? So alt click, boom, okay? And this is gonna sort our problem. Here in the bottom we have some clips, um, you know? So we could have some clips on the bottom. Uh, kind of like that and project and then mirror to the other side and they could be of different mat so you know white is fine and what else you know here on this side we could have something so let me see uh, we could have some ports that's actually gonna work nicely I think so D and project, and then we can change it to white as well. Awesome. Okay, guys, well, that's the final result. Looking pretty good. Hope you guys are excited for the mods like we are. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.